it doesn't matter what the economic environment is. A plan is important no matter what, and you can't start early enough in my mind with a financial plan. Those that do have a plan, three out of four of them said that because of the plan, they were much more comfortable during market uncertainty because it allowed them to have a long-term view and perspective as opposed to worrying about the short term. If you wanted to take the trip of your dreams, you wouldn't just hop in a car and start driving. While you would certainly go somewhere, you may not get to where you want to go. You need a map for the right directions. The same could be said for a financial plan. It's a map to take you from where you are now to help take you where you want to be. Whether you're saving for a home, that great vacation, your children's education, or your retirement. Let's take a look at Sarah and Matt Thompson, who've been married for 20 years. Their only child, Trevor, has just started university. And now, they have the house all to themselves. What's next for them? Matt and Sarah can start dreaming about the next stage of their lives. So now that they have a destination, they plan and map their trip. But first, they have to know where they are right now. What's their net worth? What do they have? What do they owe? What's their cash flow? How much money is coming in? How much is going out? How much investment risk are they comfortable with? Higher returns, higher risk, or lower risk, lower returns. While some people enjoy researching and planning every detail of a trip, others don't and want help from a travel agent who knows how to plan the dream vacation. It's the same for creating a financial plan. Many benefit from the advice and experience of a specialist. And as a financial planner, you have a responsibility to keep up with what's happening in the markets and what's also happening within the industry. The planner brings a fair bit of uh, resources and expertise around tax planning, around estate planning. They have a number of resources that they can pull in to support the financial plan, such as a lawyer or an accountant. A conversation with a financial planner will begin with discussing goals, that is, dreams and needs. Financial goals need to be SMART specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-based. The Thompsons want to retire in 15 years with an after-tax income of $40,000 each. A financial planner will consider all the financial complexities in developing a strategy for the Thompsons, including answering basic questions such as, how much will they need to save and how they should save it? We have 11 wealth considerations and that is what we would take our clients through as we build the financial plan. Some of the wealth considerations won't be important to the person at that moment, but over the course of their life I am certain at one point or another that uh, one of those considerations will play a key part in their plan. Life comes with many twists and turns. Having children or grandchildren, getting a raise, starting a new career, receiving an inheritance or buying a vacation home. So keep your hands on the wheel and revisit your plan as the road changes directions. Creating a financial plan, whether on your own or with a financial planner, puts you on the path that brings you one step closer to the life that you want. We did a poll at TD and we asked 1,200 people between 45 and 64 whether they had a financial plan. The majority of them said they knew they should have a plan, they wanted a plan, but they never got around to it. Before you decide to invest, make sure you do your homework and ensure that the investment is aligned to who you are as an investor, including your asset allocation and your tolerance for risk.